Oh, the, the thing that's going on is that I'm retiring at the end of August and the people want me to leave the department so I haven't got an office to put all this stuff so I'm getting everything out. This is the old book I had. 1968, somebody else's version of the conference proceedings which he passed on to me when he retired thinking that I would keep it but I'm now going to throw it all out. I'm retiring because I've came from, uh, from 1971 at the age of 25 as a lecturer having been a research student and I've been here 40 years. Well I haven't always been here but I've been 40 years lecturing and 40 years is quite long enough and I find it quite hard to do two or three lectures a day and yet the trouble is I enjoy lecturing so much that I'm really going to feel rather nostalgic for it but the muscles begin to ache I got um, rotator cuff muscle in my shoulder, it got screwed up, and I found it very hard to lecture and write on the board at the same time, so I thought nature was telling me it's time to slow down. Now, I find it rather sad, in a way. Um, I don't know how to respond to that, because I get all emotional about some of the things in here. I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, look, I've taken all the pictures off the wall, and those were things which I have had up for a long, long time. And now they're all going. I become an old age pensioner. I get my pension. I spend more time with my wife digging the garden and doing other things. And I can carry on doing physics. It's as though I've spent the last 40 years getting paid quite a nice bit of money for my hobby. And so it'll carry on being my hobby. But I didn't want, yeah, I'm not getting paid for it, I'm just getting a pension for it. And, and so in that sense, all that's happened is that I'm slowing down and I'm not taking so much money for it. So you're not really retiring? Well, it feels like it when it's like this. It really does feel like it when it's like this. My sister says to me, when, when she retired, she said, oh, you could join the University of the Third. I spent my whole life in universities. I feel like getting away from universities in that sense. I mean, it's one of those events in your life that you think, ah, oh, I'll be able to retire and it'll be wonderful. But actually, it's a sort of, you feel that you're stepping down from the things you like doing and you haven't got the energy and you're recognising that and you can see your decline bit by bit by bit. You don't officially retire until August. What do you have to do between now and then? I just have to enjoy myself. And I was doing that until I made this bloody video. <laughs> Real downer. People seem to disappear somehow. They go off the radar. They don't write papers so much. They don't appear at conferences so much and you just lose track of these friends that you've had for years so unless you keep going to the conferences it's as though your time has passed and another generation has come but that's the natural thing I mean Newton didn't do anything in his old age particularly except to uh, make the mint reformed in Britain and uh, Cavendish is wonderful because he kept going in his own quiet way and do, doing brilliant experiments that's the exception it's normal for the best period of scientists like life to be up to the age of 40 and then it goes down. But you can still do interesting stuff and be, keep your brain alive and pass on your passion to students. But it gets harder and it's somebody else's job now. Is there anything you won't miss? Is there anything you can't wait to see the back of? Paperwork. Paperwork. Students, evaluations, all the, all the paperwork that, that comes with it. Uh, marking exam papers is a bane of anybody's existence because you have to mark maybe 120 scripts for an exam. And after a while, I, I have to go home and be put in a locked room because I go crazy. Uh, so that, uh, it's partly that you don't like doing it because it's boring, but it's also that you feel that you've put all these ideas across so clearly to students. They ought to be able to do it. The questions were really easy. And they come back and they murder your questions and you realise that you hadn't lectured so well. So you can see that there were flaws in what you did, not just in what the student's understanding is. 
So that's really why I dislike that, because it's, it's, it's like showing a mirror up to you and saying, actually, you're not so good as you think you are.